All right, here's my brand new favorite comp. This is Black Raisin Raspberry Hollyberry comp. If you don't have Hollyberry, you can replace this uh, frontline unit. You can use Strawberry Crepe instead of Hollyberry. That works perfectly fine too. But this is my new favorite comp. This comp got me to Master 2, got me back up to the top 2,000 range. And I'm gonna say I've tried out the Triple Tank, and I love Triple Tank. I've also tried out Moon Rabbit Cookie with Hollyberry in the front line. That was also a really good win percentage unit or comp, but this comp is by far my highest win percentage comp out there. This comp absolutely destroys it. And the reason why is this comp focuses on the midline and really destroys those damage dealer cookies. As for treasure, I run Scythe. You can run Feather, but Scythe is more effective when you're using Raspberry because it allows Raspberry to do those crits and take out their damage dealer faster before they can hit you for that second or third attack, right? Where you're gonna have to use the feather anyways. Just take out Sea Fairy or Black Raisin before that even happens. That's the key to success using this comp in my opinion, but you're gonna have to use good damage resist. I'm gonna go over the builds right after this fight. First, in this fight, I'm gonna show you it in slow motion just so you can see how this team is putting pressure on the midline, right? We're facing a top 3,000 team, pretty good team. Uh, I got my damage focus off with Holly Berry. Raspberry gets canceled sometimes at the beginning. That's all right. I'm still going to hit with Sea Fairy and Black Raisin, and we're going to do a decent amount of damage in the middle. Sea Fairy now is low enough health wise that Raspberry is going to come in and clean this up. Now they're going to use a feather after Raspberry takes out Sea Fairy, but that feather is now gone. The next time we take out Sea Fairy, Sea Fairy is done. So we're putting more damage on that midline with Sea Fairy and Black Raisin hitting that midline. Raspberry is just going to come finish that job, and now their Sea Fairy is out of there, right? Now we have to less worry about being stunned in that big Sea Fairy attack. Now we just need to get rid of our Sorbet Shark. Sea Fairy comes in, Sorbet Shark's gone, Black Raisin cleans up the healers, and now it's just Hollyberry hanging on, trying to fight for dear life, and look, it's just not going to happen. Now let's talk builds. Raspberry, I'm just running my attack top and build. Get that damage resist up as high as you can. Try to get the 20%. Mine's only 16.9%. I'm gonna try to get that higher. Holly Berry, I run cooldown on Holly Berry. I got that cooldown at 24% damage resist as a substat and crit resist at 10%. I'd like to get that higher. Black Raisin, my main focus for Black Raisin was damage resist. I only got it to 12%. I'd like to get that to 15%. After that, focus on attack and crit percent for Black Raisin. Sea Fairy, I got my mix of attack and cooldown. I got attack 30%, cooldown at that minimum 11.8%, and damage resist above 20%. I run a mix of cooldown and damage resist pure vanilla cookie. I got 34% damage resist and 14% cooldown. I like to have that extra healing from pure vanilla cookie, especially when I use this comp. Treasures, like I said, you want that attack scroll, clock, and scythe. If you don't have a high level scythe, or if your damage resist is not good enough, you can use feather, but when you're using raspberry comps, preferably run scythe, so raspberry can do that extra damage against their damage dealer, right? This comp is about putting the pressure on the midline attackers and wiping them out as fast as possible. So let's check out some examples. We're going to go against the top 1,000 team, right? This team is going to be very good. Any team in the top 1,000 is going to have excellent toppings. You can see Raspberry Cookie putting a lot of pressure on Sea Fairy there. And you're going to focus on my Sea Fairy, my Black Raisin, and my Raspberry Cookie. You're going to see them all put in pressure on the midline, doing a lot of damage to the cookies in the midline and taking them out as soon as possible. And once you take those cookies out in the midline, then you just have to worry about the tank and pure vanilla cookie. Look, there's gonna be a lot of fights where I do lose my Holly Berry and my Raspberry cookie because I'm running Scythe. But it doesn't matter, I still have my Sea Fairy, I still got my Black Raisin, and I just have to take out their tank and pure vanilla. And a lot of fights will end this way, but it's not a problem. That's expected, right? Because I finished them off at that last attack right under their minute mark. And they just take out my tanks, but my Sea Fairy and my Black Raisin are fine. Man, Holly Berry though. Hollyberry with that 350% boost is trying to take out Seafarer and Black Raisin with that last attack. Alright, here's another team. Uh, this is the typical Ginger Brave Tiger Lily comp. Now, I've faced a lot of the Ginger Brave Tiger Lily comps and testing out this team. They're no trouble. This team cleans them up fast. 
they are absolutely no issue. They take out the midline cookies. They, once you lose Sea Fairy, once you lose Sorbet Shark, and then Tiger Lily in this case, it's over. Again, now we're just down to fighting the tank and pure vanilla cookie. And it's an easy win. All right, here's another comp. Uh, another team that's in that top 3,000 range. And this is the classic Tiger Lily Holly Berry comp that you're gonna see a lot in Master League 4, Master League 3, even in 2. And what are we focused on? We're trying to get rid of that Sea Fairy and Sorbet Shark. You can see Sea Fairy already used a feather. That much damage is done to Sea Fairy. Sea Fairy is already gone. I lost my Holly Berry, but with their Sea Fairy gone, they're just not gonna do enough damage. And now my team's gonna focus on taking out their Sword by Shark, and then it's gonna be game over. Again, their Sword by Shark's gone, their Sea Fairy's gone, and all I gotta beat is Holly Berry and Pure Vanilla. You're gonna see a lot of this. A lot of the matches are me versus Holly Berry and Pure Vanilla because I took out their midline attackers. And a lot of Holly Berry <laughs> standing up for a long time because of the tankiness of Holly Berry. But still, I got the win. All right, we're going against a, more of a unique team here. Uh, 700,000 plus power. They're running the uh, Sorbet Shark, Licorice, Sea Fairy, Mint, uh, Pure Vanilla comp that I really liked and had in a videos, a few videos back. But this comp really doesn't hold up against this team. Uh, my comp has a little too much defense, puts too much pressure on those midline fighters and gets rid of them too fast. So this was an easy win. I mean, look at the health, right? In just under a minute, I won. It wasn't even close. You can see the power of Raspberry, Black Raisin, Holly Berry. Or if you have Strawberry Crepe instead of Holly Berry, Black Raisin, Raspberry, and Strawberry Crepe. That works fine too. Just such a good team. Here we are, going against the speed comp. Right, we just need to out damage them and survive. Fortunately, I had enough damage assist to survive. Now, Raspberry is going to put in her work. She's going to hopefully. Nope, didn't do it. But look, now I got Black Raisin and Seafaring. They clean up. It's over. It's a uh, little dicier here on the speed comps, right? So if you're running against the speed comp, make sure that you're at the speed comp level, right? So those are a few examples. I'm going to tell you try out this team. It's really fun. It's got the added benefit of not being triple tank, where triple tank needs so many good damage resist top ends on so many cookies, right? This doesn't need to have whale top ends. This can be a standard comp for people with normal top ends. You know, Raspberry only has 16% damage resist. My Black Raisin only has 12%. Those aren't super damage resist top ends, and this team is still crushing it. So I'd say try out this team. You'll be really surprised. It's by far my most favorite team this season. I'm going to continue to use it. Hopefully keep moving up on Master 2. And thanks for checking out this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.